Hey, this is Peter from Wham Bam, and today I'm going to show you how to adjust your Z limit on your resin printer with uh, Z limit spacers or uh, longer interceptor arms. I'm going to try to give you a general introduction. We'll get into various types of machines. So, why do you need to adjust your Z limit? Well, the standard build heads are about this thick. When you add the Wham Bam flexible build system you're adding either 2.6 millimeters of thickness between magnet and flexi plate or 3.8 if it's an XDR like this case so we're adding extra thickness that means when the machine comes down in homes it's going to want to push through that screen by that distance as it gets to the home point um, many heads have a spring in it like all the Elegoo machines or they have screws which allow you to adjust the height but these may bottom out uh, they might not give you enough movement and the elegoo heads with the spring if you're going to add that 3.8 millimeters it's going to be pre-compressing that spring pretty hard so we generally want to change the z limit slightly so it's in the final position that it should be when it homes as if it did not have the wham bam flexible build system so to find our z limit um, switch you're going to want to look at the base of each machine so let's start over here here's a little hole and down in the bottom of that hole is the z limit switch if that was on you'd see a light most of these switches are optical switches meaning that there's a light beam that travels between them here's one on the mars 3 pro in the back on the Saturn, this is going to be one of the easiest to show you. It's right there. I'll show you also on the Jupiter. Here's the Jupiter, and there is the Z limit switch. Right there. Yep. Okay, so how the Z limit switch works if I were to home the machine, the arm is coming down. And any time that optical switch is interrupted, I'll just use a business card for this. It stops the homing. That easy. I'm going to shut this off. So there is something that intercepts the optical limit switch, which is our interceptor arm. You could see it right here on the bottom. Um, this is one type, a flag that's hanging down. Sometimes they're mounted to the bottom of the build head assembly sometimes to the side sometimes they're built right into it and we'll get into those different types so what you'll need to do is you'll need to go on to wambamsystems.com support to our resin page and you'll be able to find instructions and 3d models to print your distancers or your intercept arms and i'll show you some of the differences so in this situation here you're going to want to unscrew these two screws you'll be able to take this arm down and we're going to put a spacer between them that is as thick as the wham bam flexible plate system and re-screw it on uh, our kits all come with a bag of two screws most manufacturers mount with m3 screws it's not a known or a given that they are but most of them do and we have a bag of screws for the flexible build system and one slightly larger for the XTR. Your kit will come with one of these bags. Now be careful when you unpack your kit to look for this. It could sometimes break free of the packaging and be stuck in the bottom of the box, um, taped to one of the insides, just sticking on the tape from the box assembly. That has happened in the past. Always look for your bag of screws. It's in there somewhere. Um, and you're gonna wanna print out a spacer. So our spacers, in this situation here for the Saturn type machine and most of the Elegoo machines, they are just little spacers with holes to permit the screws that were in the interceptor arm to pass through. And we have one version for FBSR, which is 2.6 millimeters, and one for the XTR, which is 3.8. We don't have to be super precise in the measurements. If your printer isn't calibrated, it's okay. As long as we're getting pretty close, then you'll be able to use the normal leveling method of your build head 
to readjust it. Um, other types of interceptor arms, like we said, this one mounts to the bottom of the build head. Uh, this one also does the same. I don't know if you could see it. This is the Mars 3 Pro. This one on the Sonic Mini mounts the side. We cannot put a spacer in there. We actually have to substitute for a longer 3D printed arm. And in the case of the Jupiter, the interceptor arm is here. And we can either do a full arm or we could put a little cuff over the edge. And we'll get to that and we'll show you. I'm now going to go one by one and install the spacer. And you don't have to watch every one of these. You could use the, uh, the index to find the chapter that you want to jump to and see how it's done. So to put a spacer on the Elegoo Saturn, I am going to go ahead and unscrew the two M3 screws. Okay. And I'm going to take it down. And depending, like I said, if you're installing an XTR or FBS, you use the right screws. This one is for the XTR. That's what I'll be mounting here. So I'm going to use our screws. The Elego screws are just fine, but they're a little bit short to add on that extra thickness. You'd have very little bit of screw actually sticking through the whole thing. Okay, let me see if this is the same size. Nope. Okay, and we're going to feed them through the interceptor arm. And we're going to put this through like this. And we're going to replace the interceptor arm in its screw mounts below the machine. I'm not going to tighten that down too much until I get the other one in. I'll take the second screw. I like to preload it onto the Allen key so that you can find the hole and align. There we go. Come on. There we go. Okay, it might be either a good idea to take a picture of your system before mounting so you know the position the arm should be in, or we can do a quick test to see that this was successful. I'm going to turn on the machine and we're going to home and we're going to see if this new interceptor arm intercepts the piece. It has now been lowered by 3.8 millimeters equal to our XTR kit thickness. And we're going to go home. Okay, and it is homing. And we're going to expect this thing to stop as soon as this intercept arm, it's quite dark in here, come over here. Uh, you should be able to see when that arm reaches our optical switch, it should trip the switch and tell it it has reached the home position. Okay, it was successful. So at this point, you would just return your build head up to the upper position and mount your new build head with your wham bam installed loosen the screws and re-level following standard leveling directions and we can give a link in this video of the best leveling procedures according to us but you have now successfully installed the spacer and this is ready to be leveled and go I'm going to show you the same thing on our various machines. We're going to install a spacer on the Mars 3. So once again, I'm going to get underneath there. With I'm going to get under there with the right wrench and you want your build head to be in its most raised position so you can actually get under there. I'm going to make note of the position. This arm is all the way back into the right. That way, when I'm putting it back together, I know where it goes. Okay. I'm going to use this spacer that we've printed. And I'm going to use the smaller packet of screws that come with the regular FBSR kit. 
FBSR stands for Flexible Build System for Resin. The system we invented. So I'm going to put these screws through and there should be enough of a Okay, so I've got the spacer, the orange one, right there in position, get into the hole. Um, in this case, I've got the machine on its side to help me to find the position a little better. You could do it for the bigger machine straight up and down, but it might help to turn it on its side so you really see the position of the screws. There we go. Just going to try to get that into the right funnel position. If it does move around because the screw slots are wide, you do want to run one homing test at the very end to make sure that it is passing between the optical switch. But generally, there's a lot of play in the optical switch slot. And there it is. It's been installed. And it's a beauty. Okay, for the Frozen Sonic Mini and machines that have a side-mounted arm, a spacer underneath won't work. So we're going to replace it with a 3D printed arm, which is just slightly longer to adapt for the wham-bam thickness of the flexible build system. I'm going to save these screws. We don't need longer screws because we're just going to replace them. So in this case, we have this 3D printed arm downloaded from our support page, whambamsystems.com slash support and go to the resin section and you'll be able to find your machine and the spacer or the arm needed. Okay, and it's that easy. Just substitute with a slightly longer arm, put on your build head, loosen the screws and level. We'll give a link to leveling instructions in the body below. So here is the Jupiter and we've got the optical switch at the bottom and we've got this arm above and you could either make a longer arm or we have conveniently printed these extenders. We have one that extends 2.6 millimeters for our regular flexible build system and one 3.8 for our XDR. On this machine we're mounting the XDR so we've printed it and we'll just slip it right over that cuff and we're good to go. If you want to, you could add a drop of super glue. If you really want to have it permanent, um, you shouldn't have a problem with these being pressure fit. And now all you have to do is put on your build head, loosen the leveling screws and re-level following normal procedures. We're going to leave our best practice procedures in the comment underneath the video. If you've already installed your Wham Bam Flexible Build System uh, and you skip the whole part about installing the spacer and the instructions and you only have one printer, don't worry. You don't have to rip off the magnet. There are some temporary solutions to get you through it. One is simply taking a piece of tape and extending your arm by the distance approximately so three millimeters, 2.6 millimeters is our standard FPSR, which is about an eighth of an inch. And you only have to really wrap the tape around so it comes down that extra eighth of an inch. You can measure it even and cut a little off if you have to. And that's still going to trip the optical switch. That'll give you enough time to go ahead and get your machine leveled and printing and print out a final spacer or interceptor arm and get you back to printing. There's another little trick as well. If you have a bottom mounted spacer, a bottom mounted interceptor arm like this one, and you forgot to print your spacer, have no fear. You can take the screws off of that and stack up a couple of washers underneath the spacer to get yourself three millimeters or four millimeters of distance, three for the FBSR, or four for the XTR and then re-screw it together the same way we'd use a spacer. So this would take the place of the spacer and that will also buy you 
the time to level and print a new spacer if you wanted to, or if you're happy with the washers being in there, by all means, you could leave them in for the life of the machine. Right. So we've kind of covered uh, three main categories of spacers. We might not have covered your exact machine, but with these three types, you should be able to fit any machine. There's either the 3D printable replacement interceptor arm or the spacer that gets mounted underneath your current interceptor arm or there is even an arm prolonger. With those three and our multiple models available on our support page, whambamsystems.com support, go to the resin page, you'll be able to find your printer and find the best Z-limit adjuster for your needs. And we are always available for one-on-one -on -one technical support. Just write to us at technical at whambamsystems.com. We are happy to help you to work out your spacer issue or any other problems you might have wham bam or 3d printing related so feel free to reach out and we'd be happy to help you out if you like this please leave your comments below subscribe and like the video we always have content that's 3d printing related as well as wham bam related so check out our full channel and thank you very much